Chanel 19, Coach Madison. Today, we're gonna be doing a little comparison and talk about which bag is worth it and are these two actually comparable? On this channel, we talk luxury, we talk handbags, we love handbags of all sorts, and we talk SLGs, comparisons, reviews, unboxings, hauls, things like that. And like I mentioned, today's video is going to be a little comparison. So this one is a highly requested video because many people have asked me to do a comparison because they're trying to decide if they want to pay that Chanel pricing or just go for the alternative, which is the Madison. So stay tuned if you guys want to go through the details with me. But before we get started, if you're not following me on Instagram, stop by, say hello. So if you guys love handbags and if you guys love luxury, then consider subscribing below and giving me a thumbs up and let's just hop right into really it. Really quickly, I wanted to talk about my stack. So you guys know I love accessories, not just handbags, but I love SLGs, I love jewelry because it just kind of elevates like a simple outfit. And because I'm so casual, I use accessories to really kind of dress up and, you know, dress up and be creative with what I wear. You guys know that I always wear my Cartier love, ri love ring. This is like something that I always have on, but I do want to share a couple of new pieces I got. So this one right here is just a two prong ring like this. And it's so gorgeous because I purposely got it smaller so I could wear it like this, but also this will also work as a pinky ring too. But I just love having like a ring that sits on the top and I thought it would look so good with the love ring right here. And then you guys know that I had purchased this ring right here, which is just like my diamond, really thin paved band that I, sometimes we'll stack on top of my Cartier ring, but it's so thin that like from far away, you can't really see it. So I picked up this ring because I thought this one is delicate enough. So this one is, has a curve to it. So I figured if I wear this and I pair it, these two together, it gives it more like elevation, but it still looks good. Dropping in this clip, so I just realized I didn't even mention to you guys where the rings are from. If you guys are interested, these are Julia rings and you guys know I have other pieces from them. I really love them because they offer different stones. These are Julia stones, but they also offer like moissanite and stuff like that and for a very affordable price. Although they did gift this to me, I do plan on picking up a couple more other pieces for Christmas. I think these are gonna be great for our stockings and just giving out to my friends. Um, so yeah, I did, did give me a promo code because I went back and asked if I could offer you guys one for the holidays. And I believe it's 15% off. I will drop all the information below in the event that you guys are interested. Okay, looking at these two bags, they look, they have similarities, but obviously they're different. If you look at it side by side, the Madison is bigger and the Chanel is a little bit smaller. I think the Madison is taller. So here it is side by side. You can see the Madison is just a little bit taller, but in regards to width, I think they're pretty much the same. It's just the Madison's a little bit more pillowy, so it looks bulkier. And then the bottom is about the same too. So yeah, just wanted to show a side-by-side -side comparison. So let's talk about the Madison first. Now, you guys know that this is one of my favorite coach bags that I picked up just because it's so pillowy and just so sleek. Now this one is really soft. I almost want to say this is so comparable in regards to the feel as my Chanel 19. Let me just do a feel test really quickly. So this one feels really soft and buttery and super squishy. This one feels less pillowy because it's not as bulky, but it feels just as soft. But this one feels a little bit more delicate where this one feels like it has more durability to it, if that makes any sense. Like the Coach Madison is very, very similar in feel to the 19, which is crazy because you guys know, obviously this bag costs a lot less than the other one. Um, 
and they both have turn locks. The Chanel has the CC turn lock, and then this one obviously has the Coach turn lock. So also a C, just not a CC, but you can see the details here too. It says Coach back there, it says Coach on the top, and then it does have this right here, which attaches, you know, like the pillow hang tag. I'm not in love with that, so I actually took it off, but obviously like, you know, it does come with that. And I know most people do like it. And it has a really functional back pocket like this. The inside is a micro suede and it's also magnetic. So just to give a closer look, it's in this like brown micro suede. It just pushes like this. So here is that. And then it's also in quilts, right? But this is more in like diamond, kind of diamond shaped quilts. Whereas the Chanel 19 is more like a bigger Chanel quilt, you know? So here's a CC. The CC does have the weaves going in and obviously like it's a Chanel logo and it turns like this too. There is no branding other than the CC here though. Um, and then the side just looks like this. The quilts go all the way around and similar to the Madison, it also has the back pocket. Now this pack back pocket, instead of being magnetic, it is through a button like this, but it's a magnetic button. And the inside, instead of being micro suede, is like a burgundy fabric. So you can see that there is clearly um, very, very similar takes to it. Okay, so if I open the Madison, it looks just like this. It is also leather inside. Um, and the difference, and this is why I actually purchased the bag, is it has this really unique front pocket with a flap, but it kind of embodies like the same idea as the Chanel Classic flap. It has also like a pocket up here, um, but this is also magnetic. And again, the micro suede goes all the way through. Here you go. And then the back has an inside pocket like such with the Coach Creed. Looking inside a Chanel 19, let's open her up. Also, this, the lambskin carries all the way through the top of the bag. Here is the back of the CC. Now the inside is lined with fabric in the burgundy. The only difference um, to that is the Madison has more shape to it, whereas like the 19 is more flimsy. Um, this isn't a size small, so it's not as bad, but I needed to have an organizer to number one, keep the shape and just to help with the organization. Um, but in regards to, and obviously this one does not have any kind of front pocket. It does have a back zipper with the Chanel emblem in the back though. And let's talk about the chain. So the Chanel 19 has a very heavy crossbody strap. Now you either love it or hate it because it takes the like brass gold mixed in with a titanium. Um, and then it has like this leather padding on the top. And it also has this top handle that is all brass. So you can see it looks like this. So when you wear it across the body, the leather pad helps create that comfort. So if you are walking with it for a long time, it's not, the chain isn't digging in your shoulders. So for that, I mean, I, I know some people have an issue with it. I personally have not, and I've worn this out for the day. Um, I think it's perfectly fine, but it, this is not adjustable. So the length is the length. So whether whatever your height you are, the length cannot change. But I do love the crossbody. And like I mentioned, the bag itself is super light, but the the weight comes from the chain. Now the Coach Madison is just one long chain, but also has a leather that's weaved in similar to the 19, also in like a brass color. Now this brass is, I wouldn't say it's the same. So it is kind of similar, right? I think one is, the Chanel one has more like antique finishes to it, whereas like the Coach one is brass, but all the way through. So you're not gonna get that brassiness, the antique look to it. Both, in my opinion, are beautiful. Now, like I said, this one does not have a top handle, but you guys know me and my top handles. I created one so I could hold the bag like this. I think it just looks better. So what I did was I took a clip that I had purchased on Amazon and put it like this. So all you do is just cinch in the two chains like this. 
however length you want it to be and you clip both sides and it creates a really nice top handle. So for me, it's perfect. Now this would be good. Like if you wear it as a shoulder bag, I think it's like the perfect length. Um, if you wear a crossbody, it's a little bit shorter. I don't personally mind, but obviously like some people do not like it. Now, if I didn't cinch in the chain, the bag does sit a lot lower, um, which is, you know, personal preference. I personally don't like that. And that's another reason why I decided to kind of push the chain up with, this, especially with this top handle, it just, is so good and i love this like ivory color i think it's perfect so just so you guys know like i'm very i guess nervous to purchase for example like a chanel bag or anything that is you know on the pricier side with a light color because of that color transfer so usually if i'm investing in a bag i prefer to get darker colors like black or just something that i know is not as um delicate but when it comes to, you know, like my contemporary bags, I feel like that's one, I mean, not to say this bag is cheap by any means, but it does, it is less, right? So therefore I'm able to kind of get the colors my heart desires, like this in the ivory chalk or, you know, any other like pastels, like my um, mint green one or pistachio one I picked up that's in the mini pillow stuff like that right so I think it does give it like some options and this is why I love contemporary bags and designer bags but I feel like they have different purposes and it's just nice to have a worry-free bag sometimes so most importantly let's go through what actually fits inside the bags again I'm still using my Prada bag because it's just so easy let's start with the coach Madison so if I wanted to open her up what I usually like to do is again here's my wallet I like to put that in the front just because that way I know exactly where it is and not to mention like I mean not with the Sanrio one because that one doesn't matter but if I were using like my Chanel wallet or anything that is more on the delicate leather side I put it in this front pocket so it protects it um, in the middle here which is this right here I would put in my mini pochette which actually stores all my stuff that will sit right there I would put in my this is the my Ana Luisa pouch but I use it to put like my gift cards and whatnot here is my Daiso pill case I just put all my vitamins like um, Advil and allergy medicine, things like that. Just, you know, I thought this was so cute, but look. So this is a little bit chunkier, but it does still fit. And then I like to carry my powder. And this is just something I picked up um, at a Japanese beauty boutique. But yeah, love this one. It kind of is a little bit chunkier and it fits like this. See, I could still fit in more. I can fit in my tissues. Could fit in a sanitizer, fit in some glasses on the top. And I mean, honestly, like, would it, you can fit in more, but why stuff your bags when you don't need to? Oh, actually, you know what? This doesn't close very well. So let me take out the glasses and see if the other stuff fits. And it does. So here is the side. It, because the bag is very pillowy, it doesn't look bulky at all, but it is a little heavy. Um, and then later on, we'll see how much each of these weigh, and I'll drop the specs below as well. But yeah, here is what she looks like full. Now, let's see if all of this can fit into the 19. And then let's go through the Chanel 19. Obviously, I would put... So with the insert, I'm going to use it with the insert because realistically, that's how I think the bag really should have an insert. But if you were to remove it, you can obviously fit more. But I'm going to put my catch all in there. Let's put also, again, this car case, tissues, pill box. So just so you guys know, it's already hitting capacity and I don't even think so this will fit but it's not going to fit that much I'll put this on the top sanitizer keys and it does all fit so 
I would say, honestly, the two bags fit very similarly. Um, Mattis, yeah, it actually does fit because this one is an open pocket, so you get more room, whereas like the Madison has that front portion of it, so it does kind of take up more room in regards to the main space. But this is jam-packed, and honestly, I would never carry this much in here anyways. I would just downsize on a lot of things. Like I wouldn't be carrying a chunky pill case like this, but I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. I wouldn't need to necessarily carry um, my catch all i could take out just the things i need in here so yeah there's definitely ways around it i still think the chanel 19 is a great size and it fits so much um but yes like i said it just really depends on preference and with that all of that fitting in there the 12 pro max does fit this way as well so this is definitely a very functional bag so now that i have both bags empty i want to see which one weighs more Unfortunately, I don't have my scale with me, but I'm just gonna do it by <laughs> estimation. So the Madison definitely feels a lot heavier. I think the chain, like I said on here, is what causes the weight, but the chain is, just the, the, the rest of the bag is very light. Whereas like the Coach Madison, the bag itself is very heavy. First of all, the micro suede lining has more weight than the fabric. The leather here is just chunkier and pillowy. So it is, a little bit heavy um so if you don't like a heavy bag i mean just know that it's not like extremely heavy but there is weight to it whereas like the 19 when i wear it all day i don't really notice it um the chain part but i don't notice it so the only thing i will say in regards to the pros and cons is so for the madison i wore this for entire day once and the chain does get a little heavy on the shoulders meaning like i think at the time i was wearing like a t-shirt or a tank top so it did dig into my shoulders a little bit but i think if you were to wear this over a coat or sweater it wouldn't be as bad but just keep that in mind especially if you want to use this on like spring and summer days um again like i'm okay with it but i know a lot of people would not be now with this one to me it's more comfortable like i don't have any issues with the chain and the bag itself is very light very easy to get into um, i think the space in here is perfect i wouldn't want a bag bigger than that because i don't feel like it's necessary to carry that much and if i did i would use like my tote bags but i do think the size is great for both now although the bag fits the same amount um, i will say that because the inside of this the pocket takes up room this part is more narrow, so as you put things in, the bag will just look bulkier. So if you don't want something bulky against you, you can't stuff this bag too much because like I said, there is weight. You know what else I just remembered? Um, I didn't put my wallet <laughs> in the Chanel 19. If I did put the Chanel 19 a wallet in there, it will still fit, but it will be bulkier. Um, but like I said, it pretty much fits about the same, but because this is narrow, you, there's more puzzling involved. Whereas like the 19 is just an open space. You can just some puzzling, but for the most part, you can just put things in there. Um, and I love this, the back pocket on both cause I can put like, you know, smaller items and the back pocket to both bags is I would say equally functional. Um, I do like this one a little bit more because it doesn't have a magnet, so you don't have to like wiggle it in, even though that one is pretty easy. But when it's like this, you literally don't need to do anything. But with a button, there is some sort of like alignment you still need to do on the back. But I would say for the most part, final thoughts. If you guys are looking for something very similar to the 19, but you don't want to pay the Chanel pricing. So I got that bag in... I think beginning of 2021. So I got it for the 4,000 something, but I know since then, obviously Chanel has done many increases. So the bag is, I think anywhere from the fives to sixes now, depending on the size, you don't want to spend that much. This is a great alternative. Honestly, I know we pay for brand names, so I wouldn't say like one is better than the other. I love both, but if you're talking pricing, you're basically getting the same quality for a lot less. This right now retails for $4.95 and Coach always does sales. I got this, I think during um, Labor Day. So they had like a Labor Day promo code for 15% off. So I got this for like 300 something, which is a great deal for this quality bag. 
Um, and again, this comes in many colors. If you want that Chanel 19 classic look, they do have like a black, they have a blue, a coral, I mean, a, a, like an um, olive green. They have many, many different colors. So you're able to kind of, you know, have a selection there. So I would definitely say that both bags are very comparable. And if you had me pick, I don't know what I would pick. I mean, I love my 19, but at the same time, like if I didn't want to spend that, this is equally as good. So I hope this video was informative and let me know like what you guys think about both these bags, which one would you pick? It is a hard decision, but if you don't want to invest in the 19 and you just want to try out a very similar bag, get the Madison. And if this is something that works for you, then maybe you can consider getting the 19 later. But all in all, no regrets on both bags. Love them very, very much. So that concludes the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know again, which one you guys prefer. Thank you so much for watching and stopping by and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.